The Indian Army has issued a request for information for next-generation anti-tank guided missile, which seems to be tailored made for DRDO's manned portable ATGM. French officials have expressed its commitment to support India's 110 kN engine development program with full transfer of technology, and has also agreed to collaborate with India on advanced materials and metallurgy. General Atomics will deliver the first batch of two MQ-9B drones by the end of 2027, that will be inducted into the Indian Navy and Indian Army. DevTech and Green India Private Limited are jointly developing powerful unmanned ground vehicles with significantly larger payload capacities ranging from 1,000 kg to 3,000 kg. Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared the Phase 3 of space-based surveillance mission worth $3 billion, that includes 52 surveillance satellites for better land and maritime domain awareness. Intelligence agencies are on high alert after a night vision drone was spotted over the Kawar naval base. Maldives president has said, that Maldives stands on the brink of a digital revolution, and he emphasized India's role as a leader in technology and innovation. In a major development, Eurofighter Typhoon Consortium has raised concerns with the Indian Ministry of Defence, regarding Dassault Aviation's ability to meet India's price expectations and delivery timelines for its Rafale aircraft. Dassault Aviation has been facing difficulties scaling up its production of Rafale fighters at its facility in France, leading to questions about whether Dassault can meet the stringent delivery timeline outlined by India. Dassault insists on full control over its Indian production plant, a condition that doesn't align with India's expectations. Dassault Aviation has also informed the Defence Ministry, that production from its Indian plant would result in an annual output of only 12 aircraft, which means it could take 9 years to complete deliveries of the full 114 aircraft, a timeline that is not acceptable by the Indian Air Force. In contrast, Eurofighter Typhoon Consortium has assured Indian authorities, that it can ramp up local production to 24 aircraft per year, and the India-specific aircraft will be available at a far much lower cost compared to the French Rafale aircraft. After the plan to incorporate a vertical launching system into Project 75i submarines did not materialize, latest reports indicate that the Project 76 indigenous diesel-electric submarines that are being designed by the Warship Design Bureau, will see inclusion of two four-cell vertical launching system tubes, that will house a combination of long-range subsonic cruise missiles of 1,500 km, and supersonic cruise missiles capable of striking targets 800 km away. The Aeronautical Development Agency has started testing two software-defined radio units for the Tejas Mark II program, under which one unit will undergo rigorous environmental stress screening, to ensure its resilience in demanding operating conditions, while the other unit will be subjected to safety of flight testing to verify its reliability and performance in real-world flight scenarios. That will provide the aircraft with enhanced communication capabilities, including the ability to adapt to changing frequencies and communication protocols. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.